Nudy Gang, Nudy Gang, Nudy Gang. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. We do have a big giveaway, so let me know down in the comment section, what do you want? Do you want gift cards? Do you want merchandise? Do you want some kind of collection item? Let me know down in the comment section right now. We did hit 10K before the end of the year, and I appreciate every single one of y'all. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. Make sure that your notifications is turned on so you can get the best Madden 22 tips early. Let's get into today's method. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're going to go over is making sure that you always complete your solo challenges. What's that going to do in return? You can see right here, I am getting free items. I get a 78 plus overall zero chill player. That's free coins or free snow. Also, I get a 92 overall Ghost of Madden in cat. Okay, so guess what? I can use this player for my team. I can get an offensive lineman and then I can sell off an offensive lineman that I already have. So all these players are free. So we're going to take a free 92 overall right tech. It's the same with the ornaments. You can use the ornaments and get an auctionable player or a NCAT player just from logging in, playing the game, completing some solos, or finding the hidden ornaments throughout the game. Another method we're going to be talking about to make you a lot of coins is if you are doing the training rerolls or the snowflake rerolls, you have a chance at pulling. 83s, 85s, and 87 overalls. So if you come over here to sets and you go to exchange, you're gonna be able to make a lot of profit for two reasons. One, right now, the marketplace is sky high. Everything is about 10 to 15,000 coins more than what it should be. If you go right here to the 89 to 90 overall elite exchange and you just grab some extra pieces that you have, I'm gonna be using a lot of these snow pieces because if you grab these today, early on, you can get them for two to 3,000 coins cheaper. And in return, since they are 89 to 90 overall pecs that I'm making, you have a chance to grab somebody and get a easy 50 to 90K coins. Now you're gonna be putting in about 35 to 40K buy these cards if you get them for good price you can get them for about twelve thousand a piece twelve twenty four thirty six or up to forty thousand but you have a chance a very good chance to pull a card that's going for sixty five thousand or yesterday i pulled an 89 overall cam chancellor that was going for almost eighty five thousand coins real easy and these are just extra players you already using the training reroll you already using the snowflake reroll and then you just have these extra 87s laying around now instead of you selling off the 87s individually which you can do i'm not going to tell you what to do but i'm giving you an opportunity to double your profit if you sell them individually 12,000 12,000 12,000 that's 36,000 coins up to 40,000 coins if you put them in the 89 to 90 overall elite exchange you have a chance to make 65,000 coins 90,000 coins off of them same exact players so we're going to put these in and then we're going to pop open the packs i like to always have at least three to four packs if possible now we pull an 89 overall joey galloway right there that's 3150 training so that helps me out with the re-rolls you know limiteds are in packs so for that car since he's not that profitable the 89 overall i would just quick sell that for training all right, so when we back out, like I always tell you, you're going to get your free 100 coins. You're going to get your free XP for completing the set, for opening up packs, and all that type of stuff. So if you go right here, now we have three more packs. The first one was an 89. We quick sold it for training. That's going to give you two to three roll opportunities. Right here, we pull a 90 overall Shaq 
Mason, okay? Just using extra cards that you have. 70,000 coins. You see how fast that profit is? I put in three cards, about 12 to 13K a piece. 12, 24, 36, or up to 40,000. We made 25, 26,000 profit after taxes that fast. So what am I gonna do? Throw him up super, super fast, 70,000. Or you can go right here and get 5,000 training. You made this 90 overall card for 35,000 coins, okay? So if we put them up right there for 70,000, we're gonna take that 70,000. That's a great, great pool. That's super easy profit. We still have two more packs. Like I said, just laying around, you might have some extra snow players. Throw them into the set. Another 90 overall, Hassan Riddick, okay? So that's another 5,000 training, a great way to get training, and he's going for 62,000 coins. Already in two cards, we made about 45, 50,000 profit on two different cards, okay? So you're gonna see the coin count start to go up and you get in more training. So another 89 overall right there. He's gonna get an upgrade later, but like I said, that's an 89 overall. You can either take the 40,000 coins or you can quick sell it for more rolls. So now I'm up to 6,000 training just by using cards that's land in my binder. So another key thing for you to do is substituting power up passes and then getting the value back. So if we go right here and we take this 90 overall, since everything is overpriced, take him out of the lineup. Then we go right here to this 91 overall and we take him out of the lineup. Now, from grinding the game, all this is free. You get in power up passes throughout the process. If you already got power up passes, make sure that while the prices are high, you are taking cards out and putting power up passes in their place and selling off the cards. So, as you can see, we did pull two Derrick Henrys. I'm waiting for him to come out of packs, and we're gonna sell him back. So if I go right here to my collectibles, you're gonna see I have ornaments, I have a 91 to 92 power-up pass, I have an 89 to 90 power-up pass, a 87 to 88 power-up pass. So that means that's three different cards that I can replace in my lineup and get the coins why everything is overpriced a 90 overall should usually be between 34 38 thousand coins okay so if i do a 89 90 overall i can sell that for 65 to 80 thousand coins so i would find an 89 to 90 overall in my lineup and a 91 to 92 overall and i can put them in the power up and exchange them out and walk away with 130 140,000 coins. So if we come down here to a 90 overall, we're gonna click on him who we're gonna substitute our 89 to 90 pass, and that's gonna be 68 to 70,000 coins that I can make back from that. So I go right here, put him at 69,000, or you can just take the training. That'd be another 5,000 training, especially with limited in packs. So then you can take all the training if you want to use it for training, and you can go do the reroll set. I have this 90 overall, Aaron Glenn, 73 to 74,000 coins. Six hours ago, he went for 95,000 coins, a 90 overall, okay? So we can go in here, we can take him and get the training, but instead, we can just put him into his power-up, use that power-up pass, and we're gonna take that 70,000 coins, especially while the price is inflated right now. So now I have a few extra 87 overalls because I didn't have enough to finish the set. So now I can sell these individually if I wanted to for another 14 to 15,000. So that'd be two times another 30,000. So all total in less than six minutes, going through my binder or keeping packs that I got from solos or the exchange set is probably like 230 thousand extra coins when everything is sold off so this 87 i will keep because i have an opportunity to pull one more 87 if i was to take that free training by putting in the power up pass and then i was to roll that card or if you need that free 15,000 to 30,000 right now as we get a zero chill login reward it's going to be some more free snowflakes okay so you can take them snowflakes go roll them another 2500 that puts me closer to 50 thousand snowflakes every day you're going to be playing the game every day you're going to be building up your snowflakes so we're going to go right here and now we have training that we can use for the bow nose 
or we can use for the 78 overalls training that we didn't have when we started the video just by utilizing the steps that I just showed you. So we roll that right there and we get a 79 overall. That's not something that you want to see. First pack of the day, let's go for pack number two. We're going to do like three of these and then you're going to always make sure that you take advantage of your daily packs as we pull an 87 overall, like I said. So now we have three of them that we can either sell individually for 15 to 17,000. As you can see, you can snipe them for 12,000, like I said. So if you was to get three of these for 12,000 coins, you can see zero minutes ago, it sold for 12,000. So that's 12, 24, 36,000 coins that you will be making that set. And you seen, I was able to sell for 65, to 70, 75,000. So you make it almost a 30K profit on every single set that you complete while the prices of the 89 and 90 overalls are super high. So 12,000, you can go ahead and snipe these or sell them off individually. But now we have an extra one. So I can go right here, I can just click on it and I can go to sets, 89, 90 overall, boom. Add him into the set whenever you get these 87s, unless you are building stocking stuffers. You can build the stocking stuffers also, and that'll get you 110 to 115,000 coins if you finish off one of them. So we're gonna pull again another 87. So we have grabbed that 87 right there. You can take it for snowflakes, or you can just add it right back into the set. But these are free pieces that we're getting right now in the video. Free training that we got, for quick selling and then we get another 78 right there so we just building up our snow at the same time so we get in training we get in pieces that we can sell off and if you quick sell them you get in snow super fast 78 plus overall 93 pool that's 120 130 thousand coins 140 thousand coins this fast a six to seven minute video taking the training that I got for free, selling off players that I had, exchanging them with power up passes, doing the exchange set, and we get 140,000 right there. Once all the rest of the stuff sell, that'd be another 215, 220,000. We made 340 to 350,000 coins that fast in this video. Right now, as y'all can see in this video, training is pretty hot. For me to roll 287s and a 93, and the 89 training is hot right now so go take advantage of all these methods we did just pull another 89 that goes for 30,000 coins we made over 300,000 coins in less than six and a half minutes i love all y'all thank y'all for 10k utilize all these methods the recap of the video if you are already rolling training or snowflakes any leftover 87s or if you was planning on quick selling 87s you can throw them into the player exchange sets they are worth more in the set than if you was to sell them individually or you can go on the block if you have 150,000 coins snipe you three of them 12,000 a piece that's going to be 36,000 coins if you pull a 89 is profit if you pull a 90 it's even more profit you can get up to a 35 40,000 profit on every single set that you complete. Get four or five of them sets, you're looking at 120, 130,000 coins in less than four or five minutes. Now, you can do your power up pass, recap number two, and then in return, you can quick sell cards, get some training for nothing just by playing the game, opening up packs, getting your daily coins, and then you can go into the store, roll them, pull a 93, pull a 89, pull a 91, you can quick sell them for snow or you can sell them off. Make sure that you are taking advantage of these methods and I'll see y'all in 24 hours. What's the giveaway gonna be? Let your boy know.